What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? good with y'all what's good what's good we tuning in for another video man and today we messing with big dolo man i figured i'd record this video because i don't know if people know how to do it i done showed people before but uh i think it was on the jmac 2004 rides channel it was when i was changing all the stuff over me and rick and all that so i'm gonna show people how to do it man we got a rotor i got the new rotor man about to put the new rotor on and stuff because i had to drill the stud out which y'all saw that picture or did y'all I ain't even show y'all the picture, man. It just now hit me. I did the vlog, or did I? Nah, I did show y'all the picture. I showed y'all the picture, my bad. I'm thinking about another vlog. But y'all saw what I had to go through to get that out, man. And like I said, it probably watered out the hole, so better safe than sorry. It rotor not bad, but I'm changing the whole rotor. Y'all see what I got going on. I got all these things uncovered. Uh, my guy's supposed to be coming over here to cut the trees. He need the cars moved, but... Uh, Said I ain't heard from him yet, so I don't be moving nothing until I see him pull up down there. <laughs> He's supposed to be here. Uh, let me see. Wipe y'all out, man. Like y'all following up. He's supposed to be here probably. It been about an hour ago now, so I don't be moving, man. It's some work moving these car. I just wait till he get here, then move everything. So, uh, man, I should have showed y'all the car cover, man. All that water was sitting right there. I'm telling you, man, the car covers is it. Car covers is it, man. So I'm letting them. I'm letting the sun bathe, dry out and stuff, let the car cover dry out. We about to post some uh, racing gas in. Dolo said, man, I crazy. I love putting, I love running racing gas in my car. They just run so much better, man. But for everybody that want to know, they all run on pump gas. Everything I own will run on pump gas. And y'all see me put it in there. Dolo runs on pump. The truck will run on pump. Cutley run on pump. 93, obviously. Uh, Big Meats going to have to run on a mixture. I ain't gonna, I don't lie to people. I ain't gonna cap. Big meat's gonna have to run on a mixer. It, it ain't. It would not run on straight 93. It ain't. It ain't happening. So I'm gonna have to mix it down. That's gonna be the only one. John Jones run on pump, and uh, you know, that's it. So uh, I'm finna call Aunt too, man. Cause y'all know Mr. Jones been gone. Mr. Jones been gone for a minute, man. I'm ready to get it back. Cause it, it's supposed to have the new shots on it. So I'm ready to see what that thing gonna do with the new shot. And gotta get them put on Big Dolo, man. I might hit up Rick. See Rick and knock that out. And uh, with the nitrous, the nitrous hooked up, man. But I'm, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all about it and what I got going on. So y'all just stay tuned in. All right, y'all, we checking in, man. We checking in. It's the next day. I had the, uh, it rained, man. It started raining on and off. They were cutting trees. Y'all can see we took more trees down. I don't know if you can remember, but y'all probably see. But it used to be a, a bunch of limbs and vines over there by the, uh, the Nile. So cut that down. Then we'll have five more pines coming down, man. The tall one that might hit the house. So, let me see. One, uh, two, three, four. And then this real tall one right there, five. I'm gonna be taking them down. So, I'm finna uh, set y'all down, man. I'm finna set y'all down, get this cold start on this thing. Let y'all get this cold start while I back. Big dolo up, man. Getting the junk done in the morning before it get too hot. So y'all stay tuned.
ain't jacked up, y'all. Get out here in the morning why it feel good. And it's shade right here, cause y'all know in this spot, later on, it's gonna be beaming. When that sun, when that sun completely come out, boy, it's, it's over with. Pure heat. So, get this secured, then go take it. All right, we got that thing jacked up. Now, it's how to change the rotor on the box here. That's why I titled this video, Keeping It Simple. Cause this, this is what I'm gonna do, I'm so people. So what you're gonna need, you need Allen wrenches, or you can get your bits. You can get your hex bits, or whatever. So, I'm gonna use that. Milwaukee car, I wanna go faster. Uh, Something to take the towel. Got 13, 16 little nuts, but some of them got three quarter little nuts, but half inch 20, half inch 20 threads. Uh, this is a 9C1. This is a 9C1 Caprice. So the threads on the studs are half inch 20. Half inch 20. But uh, like I said, I'm about to get the towel off, and then after that, you're going to take your caliper off, which is your, uh, your Allen. Your Allen wrenches, you take your caliper off and then remove that, set that to the side to break. Uh, I need my brake tool, the brake tool to push the pad, push the uh, caliper back in, the piston. But uh, I'm gonna get this all done, I'll tell y'all step by step. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, gonna get the thing off. That was my one 13 16 load. I end up chaining the little nuts, which I like these better. They got the three quarter head on them. So, like with wheels and stuff, socket go in there, in there easier. I mean, I got thin socket even if you got 13, 16 little nuts. I still got a socket there to go in there. You have to use these silver sockets. And they'll fit. Hold on, I'm trying to get it changed out, y'all. There we go. And these are three quarter right here. Man, I love that impact. Make everything easier. Take your wheel off. Punch y'all like that. Get the wheel off. See my paint, my caliper paint come off. Uh, and that's the culprit. Now, I could have popped one in there. I could have fed up through here and put a stud in, but where it was going crazy up in here, spinning all that, I don't think uh, it just better safe than sorry. Basically, it might have watered the hole out. So I'm finna. You take your two bolts. Oh, let me line this out, man. I'm trying to give y'all a good explanation. All right, y'all. So the next thing you do, you take your two bolts right here. You'll see them, one down there, and one right there. Caliper bolts, and you use your Allen, your Allen wrench. Take these out. The whole caliper come off. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that next, and then uh, we're gonna go to the next step. All right, y'all. We're checking in. Get that broke loose. You need a. Uh, Ooh, don't roll it up. Three eighths. I wanna say. Three eighths, I think. But uh, if they, these are standard Allen wrenches, not metric. And the Allen wrenches said that one and then got the second one. You can just get you a little hammer and get a little tap, and they'll come the rest of the way. You ain't got no hammer, no hammer, just muscle and uh, breaking loose. I don't feel like fighting today. I already fought drilling this uh, drilling this stud out. So then after that, you take this. Take these bolts out, and then you 
caliper going to come the caliper going to come loose then you just set it up there by your A-arm or you can tie it up with some zip ties if you feel like it's going to hang if you can't position it just get you some zip ties and tie it up to the A-arm you'll be alright definitely check your brakes while you're at it I shouldn't have to tell nobody to do that though. Inspect your brake. So this is a two-in-one video too. If somebody somebody watching don't know how to uh change the brakes. So I might change the title, man. I might change the title. Cause you want to change the brakes on the box heavy. This all you gotta do. Take your towel and you can start right here. You take these two caliper bolts out, and then all you need is a little a little brake tool, which you can get at AutoZone, Advance, O'Reilly. The little simple hand tool, man. You ain't got to get the souped up and with the pump handle and all that. You ain't got to get all that. You can just get the one with the twist handle and do the job. Take your old plate, put it up against there, push your piston back in, position your, your brake pads back in there, be good to go. But I'm going to show y'all that too. Most of y'all know how to do this anyway, but still, if people that, if people that don't know, man, it might be some younger people. They're watching it, don't know. There might be some people that ain't younger that just don't know how to do it. So, like I said, I don't never assume somebody know how to do everything. Because I had to learn it one time too. So, there you go. That take off. My, my brake pads are real good. Still got a lot of life left. That's the piston I was talking about right there. Mine look like it's already in. Most of the way, you need that. And you set this up here. Brake pads still back there. And you take your brake pads out like that. Like I said, mine still some good. So we'll set them in there. Piston. Piston out a little bit. We'll have to push the piston in. But I'll show y'all that when we get there. So that's the first, second step I meant. We gonna have to set this out. Yeah, on the A on. Yo, I tell y'all, I can set that up there on the A on. So now, what you gonna do? This right here, this your dust cap. You gonna pop this off? You just get to a flat head. Mine still, my dust cap still in good condition, so I didn't buy a new. But you can get this at the parts though too, on the help aisle. I think these on the help aisle. These dust caps, brand new. Keep it from putting that old one on too. Grease still look good in there. And then I need some, I need my needle nose pliers. Cause, uh, I'm gonna bring y'all here. Bring y'all here, so. All right, we'll take the dust cap off. And then, uh, I need to need an old pliers. Then you got your castle nut. It's called a castle nut because it look like top of a castle, pretty much. Then you got your um, you got your pin. You you take out. See, you just bend that one side, and uh, you pull that pin out. So I'm getting some need an old pot pliers. This is what we do next. Now, you take that, just pull this pin out, bend it, pull the pin out, and if you want to set them, I keep them because sometimes they break. Uh, sometimes you can reuse it, but mine's is new, so I can reuse it. Cause I got a set of them. You can go to Harbor Freight or get your set of cotter pins. They got different sizes, man. I'm telling you, the life saving them came in handy from stuff with your carburetor and stuff like that too. From using on the car, uh, kick down or uh, linkage and all that. But you take this pin out, and once you take this pin out, you can just take the castle nut out. I tell y'all what size it is. It shouldn't be super tight. Which I know mine out. It don't supposed to be just just super super tight. You don't want, you don't want to strip the threads on that. And then uh, after you take that off, the rotor come off. So that's how I hold your rotor on. Your brake caliper. Then you take the pin out, the cotter pin. Take the dust cap off. I meant take the cotter pin. Then you take this castle nut off, which I think is an 18. I want to say it's an 18. But you take the castle nut off. And then the whole rotor just slide off. And then I show you bearings and stuff. So y'all. Alright y'all. We back. Um, had to take a brief intermission. But y'all. I didn't take y'all along for the ride. Uh, 
I went to AutoZone, man. Got some more shop towels. While I was at it, Kyle's out. I thought about it. I ain't had no, well, I checked. I ain't had no brake parts cleaner. I usually keep all this stuff, man. I just keep stuff at the house. Keep fluids, brake part cleaner, stuff like that. So I bought two cans. One can will be good. Because you got to clean your rotors. Clean your rotor, man. When you spray it. Spray it off. Because it comes with a film on it. Keep it from rusting, from sitting on the shelf. Then I got three little nuts. I ain't need but one. But I got three just to have backups. Because, uh, you know, the one that went bad. Got that one that went bad, but then uh, I said he had some extra. Then I got uh, a bearing packer. Just because I don't have one, I, I usually pack my bearings by my hand, which uh, I show you both ways to do it in case you don't want to buy a bearing packer. Then I got some more grease, even though I had some. I like I ain't got no more red grease. The red grease is high temp, which is what I got in here. I like red grease. Uh, you can use the regular grease too, multi-purpose automotive grease. But uh, I got this kind. You can get all this stuff from AutoZone. Like I said, multi-purpose uh, red grease is actually red high temp. Then this is a bearing packer. I'll show you how to use that. They just keep your keep your hand from getting so dirty. And I bought some some gloves. With these bad boys ain't cheap. Just let people know. But they good to have, especially gonna pack by hand. Or you can just use regular latex glove, but they might rip. Um, uh, and then they just came with the shot towel combo, so that's why I got that. So uh now we about to get back over here. Uh I got my sockets. So like I was telling y'all, let me see. Alright, we're gonna I put the dust cap back on. Alright, so look. Got the gloves on. I already got that bent. That's what I'm saying. You take the pin out right here. Is it? It's caught a pin. Keep up with it. <laughs> Keep up with it, man. If you if you ain't got a set or you don't have a harbor freight nearby, like I said, just keep up with it. Then uh, I need my impact, and we gonna see. I think it's an 18. I'm pretty sure this is an 18, y'all. Let's see if I'm right. I'm looking for a fur. Trying to hide. It's 20. I think this is 18 right here. Ah, let me see what we got. Did I grab it? Nope, 21. It ain't no 18. I tell y'all that. That bad boy big. <laughs> it ain't no 18, y'all. I'm tripping. Let me see. It's a 27. 27 millimeter. So if you don't, if you ain't got that, stop that video and go to the parts store and get you that one socket. You'll know it'll be your socket for your casting that. It's a 27 millimeter. See, like I said, really don't supposed to be tight. You don't just, you don't supposed to have anything tight. Y'all see, I just put the socket on there and loosen it with my hand. That thing don't supposed to be monster tight. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, let me see. Trying to keep up, kid going ham in there. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to get situated, man. Trying to get my napkins and all this stuff. All right. So you take this off. Grease still good on it. Take that casting net off. Pay attention to how it go on. And then. Definitely want to keep up with this too. It's, it's on top of the bearing. I'll get the bearing out first. There you go, it came off. Alright. Pay attention how you take this part. You see that? It can't it gotta go on there a certain way. So then you got your bearing right here, your outer, your outer bearing. Which the bearing still good, really could reuse it. These bearings are pretty pretty much brand new. They could be reused, but I got new ones. So then this just come on, y'all. That's it. That's it. That's how you take it off. Then you got your you got your seal right there. Which holds in your um your, your inner bearing. See? It's on good too. 
but this shit it's your inner bear and then you got your seal and also like i said if you want to if you want to just uh change the stud out could do that too i feed it through here which is more of a task through the dust seal but uh if you want to take it off the right way like i said take it off then you just feed it through there and then you put a lug on the other side and you can tighten it down slowly i recommend using a four-way to do it and then uh put it back like I said and that's it but uh, I'm gonna clean the other rotor then I'm gonna show y'all going back so alright so we back we back now I got the bearings like I said you always check them first <clears throat> now your bearing come with a with a brace to come in there but uh you know you don't need that it should just fit in there like this like I said this the this the inner I see it should fit in there flush like that. So you know that one right. I already checked both of them yesterday, so I know they right. Now, the way you use a bearing packer, when you, let's see, where the handle at? All right, when you get this, this will be screwed on here. Y'all getting a lot of videos in one, man. How to use a bearing packer and this and that. Teaching everybody everything. But uh, it come like this. This will be screwed on tight, though this part and this just the cover right there so you take this off pull this up obviously you're gonna have to put grease now i'm just showing y'all now cause when i put grease now i'm just gonna be focused on doing it uh you put your grease i say fill it up about right there fill it up about right there then you take you take this off hold on Take that off like that. Your bearing, you see how it's made? You want it face down like this, the cone part face down. You want to center it over here. Center it about like that. Then you take this, tighten it back down until it got your bearing flush. All right, see it flush right there. So that's how it's gonna look. Then what you do is you just drive this down into the grease. And you do that a few times, it ain't gonna take long, and it's gonna push the grease all up through there. Essentially, so you're doing the same thing with your hand. Like I said, if you don't have one of these, these don't cost but like $20. They're a lot faster and not as messy. So what it's doing is uh, uh let me get it. It's pushing the grease up through here on this side and when you use your hand you have to wipe the grease and, and force it up through right here and then you'll see it grease all your your bearings and stuff so that's how you do that so uh, i'm gonna get this thing greased man the bearings and uh we're gonna get this sprayed off and when you spray this off you just spray it spray it down man spray the part just spray it down break parts cleaner and spray it down real good just just hold it down let it dry did the back side, let it dry. And while, you, while it's drying, you can be greasing your bearings up. And uh, you'll be ready to go back. So I'm going to set y'all down, man. The install probably going to roll the time lapse or something. But y'all stay. All right, y'all. We see you got the bearing greased. Uh, you got to put a little force to it now. I'll tell you that. It's a little suction. So I got to put a little force. So we're going to put that one in. And then you put your, your seal in. Use a rubber mallet. Put my mallet in. There you go. Rubber mallet. Tap your seal in. Flush. Then that'll be the back side. Then you can put the rotor in. The front side. I just put it on while the rotor. While the rotor up there. See? You see your seal? Got a lip on it. The seal goes in like that. Then you just tap around it. Tap it in it and that'll hold your bearing in place. So I'm getting some more gloves on. We're gonna set that up. Then I show y'all after I got it installed. All right, y'all see we got the bearing all in there. Oh man, the sun is shade. Keep. Then you put that right there. And we're gonna tap around that. Well, I'm gonna have to cut y'all off, man. I got I got to do that right. So y'all stay tuned. All right. So we got that. I don't know why I just put that back up, man. No, I'm gonna need it. We got uh, 
we got that bearing in there so i'm finna go ahead and grease the other bear i really can slide this on now which i might do well i'm gonna go ahead and grease the other bear first man we're gonna grease the other bear and then i'm gonna sit y'all down and uh slide this on let me show y'all uh what i'm talking about let me get the box right here i set up on the box all right so then your outer bearing should fit right in there see i always check this stuff first which is a smaller bearing and y'all see it fits perfect fit and remember put your wash on top of that so we're gonna grease this up uh put it in and then we're gonna put it back on the car so let's get it man we're checking in about to go back with this thing Going back on with the rotor. Oh. Got both of the bearings in. I said the front one might push out. Do what I said, man. I usually, I usually just put the rotor on first. See, it's going to move a little bit. There we go. Completely seated. Then we're gonna put the washer back on. So you can keep your area clean. Wash it back on first. See, it's a certain way it go, there it go. Then you put your castanet. Put your castanet back on. I said hand tight good enough man don't don't put no impact on your thing all that trying to tighten it super tight that's why it got a cotter pin in it just take that let me see paper towel see y'all fairly fairly simple process see just talking to the ones that don't know how to do it you know how to do it? Cool. But hey, man. It's about teaching people. That's good right there. Then you go back with your pin. Your cotter pin. Crazy. Where is it? That casting net, man. You have to turn it till you can... You can get it in there. I might have to turn it some more. You turn just enough to get that cotter pin in. All right, this should get it. That's it. There you go. It's the fun part right here. I think last time, that's why I used a new one. Cause it didn't want to go. It went that time. We got them that time. Whew. That was hard. Bend that one side back. There you go. And he locked in there. Rotor is on. Go back with your dust cap. That really just protects your grease from drying out. Premature bearing failure. Dust cap. Keep dust from getting in there and make your bearing go out. Like I said, I told people in previous video. Now I have ran them without dust cap. Do you do you suppose you don't do you supposed to do that? No. Uh and I just rely on the cap from my rim I was running to protect it, the cover, which I never had a bearing failure. But technically it can cause bearing failure, I'm just telling you. But have I ran them without it? Yes, I have for clearance. Or sometimes I smash the cap in. Cause when you put wheels on, sometimes the, the cap protrude. The uh it want to knock the center cap out. So which I think I'm having that problem when I get ready to put the sixes on. 
So that's on now. And uh, let me show y'all. We're gonna give y'all some B-roll. Time lap, but it don't, it's, it don't take no time. So then uh, let me show you this. All right, so we got the rotor back, back on. Uh, this what I talking about, the brake tube, man. You ain't got to overthink this. This right here is simple. This go like this. It go against your brake pad, and then it pushes your brake pad. Your brake pad pushes the caliper back in. Or you can put something else right there, cause usually you use your old brake pads, but mine, mine some good, so you don't want to screw against your ceramic uh, pads or whatever. Whatever material you got, you want to screw, so I'm gonna put some right there. But that's how you use it. If you had an old brake pad, it wouldn't matter. You just put it, put it against that backside and screw it, screw it, and you'll see this piston go in flush. Then it'll be a slide back on. So I'm gonna do that. Then we're gonna drop, drop old Dolo down, and take back in. All right, there we go. Back on new rotor. Then remember when you push this piston back. After you put your tire on, let your car down, pump your brakes a few times and to bring the piston back out with the brake because it'll feel like you ain't got no brakes. Well, you won't. But just, just press them. Press them a few times, man, then they'll start getting tight and you'll be uh you'll be good to go, y'all. So I'm finna get the tire back on, set the car down, then we're gonna check back in with y'all. Alright, y'all, we taking back in, man. So we got that thing wrapped up. <clears throat> got it wrapped up, tie back on. And right in time too. Uh-oh. Oh, trying to get away need that for a spell so uh, uh like i said it about to it's about to get down i started thunder so i'm finna i'm finna put big dolo up cover it back up man before i'm in the showers again like the past couple of days man i'm telling you the rain just won't let us be great y'all rain won't let us be great the past few days been raining man i ain't been able to enjoy none of these cars like Cost of the rain. I don't get no time, man. But I hope if it do, it's a little shower. That be it. I'm ready to mount this thing up now, man. That's all I waiting on. Put that road on, and I'll trying to catch a break. I'll trying to catch a break in the day so I can do it. So we got the road on now. And now, <clears throat> see, I can put the uh, put the put the wheels on. But it won't be today. I plan on doing it today. Soon, double video for y'all. But if in the rain down, if in the storm and all that. So I'm going to put this bad boy up and go in the house. But I want to give these people this video just in case the one didn't know how to do it. So you know. Look, y'all can hear it now. So you know that's going to be it for today, man. I ain't finna carry this out because I need to put this thing up. I'm going to catch y'all later. Appreciate y'all, BCG.